We're here at Black Bear Tyres down in Brindale and what I've done today is I've popped in to see Rick and Lino and Josie and um, we're going to go through a tyre rotation. Just clocked up just over 10,000 kilometres and now we're going to do a wheel rotation. Tyres are wearing very, very well. Um, once Rick comes over I'll have a bit of a yak with him and we'll go through and explain why we do tyre rotations, how often you should do it and a little bit more about the uh, pressures and stuff like that but uh yeah so over here in brendale been here for a while now uh, they're an american tire um not a bad tire at all the old Fox 2.5s, the Sumo Spring, this little part here. I've got Rick from Black Bear Tyres. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you been? Oh, great, mate. Hey, um, just want to ask you a few questions just to let the people out there know about tyres. Yeah, mate. Um, why am I rotating them? How often should I rotate them? And what's the go with pressures airing down and stuff? So, obviously being a 3500 and how how massively fitted out it is, and weight is a big issue on these things, especially with tyre pressure, because what most people don't understand is that your load rating goes off your tyre pressure. So once you lower that tyre pressure, you lose your load rating. With Dave being at the maximum tyre load rating, he has to be very um, very aware of his of his uh, tyre pressures. So um, it's very important because, uh, for an example, you know, if you're uh, at 80 psi and running uh, 1950 kilos, you drop that down to 40, you've lost half of your load rating in your tyre, which therefore can destroy the tyre. Won't destroy the tyre on the spot, but can destroy it in three months' time. The damage has been done. It needs a bit of heat to, to destroy the tyre. All right, so. With the uh, wheel rotation, why do you rotate the wheel? Yeah, we've got to rotate the wheel because obviously the back's got most of the weight. Um, you'll see on your wear, you've worn a lot more on the back than the front. So rotation is a must and very important just to keep your wears and yeah, you don't wear out your backs quicker than your fronts. And how often, every 10,000 Ks? Five, five to 10, have a look at five, see how they're wearing. Uh, every car's different because they've got different setups. But yeah, have a look at your 5,000 mark. If you see it's wearing a bit harder, swap them over. If not, go the extra go the extra five and change it to 10. No more than 10. Should change them every time. Right, and one last question for you, mate. Airing down on beaches. Yeah. What, like, obviously, you're just saying then if you drop your pressure down by half, it's going to yeah. lose a lot of your load rating. So once you're on the beach, I know everybody seems to go down below the 10s or around the 12s yeah. and stuff like that. For my truck, that would be absolutely insane because my fucking bulge. You just destroy the tyre. It's driving on a flat tyre. So another thing that people don't aren't, aren't aware of is that when you're on, actually on the beach, that actual when you're on low tyre, the sand is hard like concrete. It doesn't move. So it's like driving on concrete road. So we don't recommend putting them down unless you get bogged. Once you get bogged, yeah, let them down to 20, let them down to whatever you need to get it, get you out of that situation. Once you get back onto that hard sand, pump them back up. No worries. Yeah. All right, Rico, thanks for your time, no, mate. Cheers, mate. We'll see you again. Catch you later. Hey, I've got Andy from Custom Lithium in Brendale. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good to see you, Dave. No worries. Um, Custom Lithium, all right? Obviously, you've been around a little while, yep. but um, what is the main thing that Custom Lithium do? Obviously, it's lithium batteries, but what, what do you guys provide? So we, uh, we build uh, lithium batteries that are the highest performing and the smallest footprint on the market in Australia. Right, and they're for everything from caravans to cars to anything you could use a lithium battery yeah, for? Yeah, four-wheel drives, caravans, they're probably our main market, uh, but we've got a lot of electricians that order them. Uh, we run uh, solar bore pumps out in the outback as well. Um, heaps of uses, mate. Righto. Now, you have a facility here where if somebody orders a battery or whatever, you can fit them in whatever it is, whether it be a uh, caravan or a car, you can do it on site, fit them in, 
and get them on their way, yeah? Yep, so installations as well. So it's sort of like a one-stop shop. You can get uh, you all the best batteries on the market, uh, and then our team who know the batteries inside and out, uh, we can fully install them with the best system for your caravan. All right, now with your batteries, one thing I understand, and you can probably elaborate on it because I'm just a, a layman sort of thing. Yeah. I don't really know the technical stuff with this stuff, mate. But um, you can have a 100 amp lithium battery that will give you 110 actual amps as opposed to right, 90. Yeah, you don't yeah, understand yeah, what, what you're saying. saying? Yeah, so a lot of batteries on the market, they're what we call overrated. So you might buy a 100 amp hour battery, but it might only actually come out and be about 90 when you test it. Uh, and there's a little bit of misleading marketing around that. So one thing that we've done since day one has been underrate our batteries. Uh, so when we build our 310 amp hour batteries, for example, the cells are actually rated to 314 amp hours. So uh, we know that if someone takes one of our batteries and tests it, it's gonna come in exactly what we say or more. Awesome. Now, um, you put the batteries together and build them here on site, don't you? Yep, here in Brizzy. So we import a lot of the components from China and we're also working on a few uh, designs for some local electronics as well. Uh, but we fully assemble, manufacture as much as we can in-house and then we use a couple of local guys as well for our fabrication and uh, uh, that sort of work. Yep. All right, and just for the people out there like myself that aren't fully got their head around lithium and um, is it AGM or gel batteries or yeah, whatever, yeah. what is the advantage of a lithium battery over the other batteries? So lithium batteries are a lot lighter, um, but also the capacity, so you can use all of the lithium battery right down to zero, you just don't leave it flat, you've got to get the charge back into it. And that's the next thing, probably next major advantage of lithium is that you can charge them up at a much higher rate than AGM. So you can go for a much larger battery bank with lithium that actually you can use more effectively more efficiently and you can charge it more fast. All right, more and fast. And more fast. Fast, faster. <laughs> good, that, that, that's good Queensland language. Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah, more fast. <laughs> and how were them blues the other night? Oh, I cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ross has been given to me, mate, so I've got to get one back on it. Um, anyway, the, um, with uh, lithium or with, with, with batteries and that, you can have 12 volt, 48, and is there a 72 volt or something? Oh, mate, or something well, we in do between? 12, 24 volt, 36 it, volt. So normally you know, 24 volts a little bit more common, I guess. Uh, 36 volt mostly for your Minn Kotas and your boats. Uh, that's the you know, little boat motors, that sort of thing, more common. Uh, but then you know, 48 volts becoming a little bit more common as well in your caravan scene. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm actually going to 48 volt in this van. I've had 12 volt in the rest. Um, what are the advantages of going to 48 over 12 volt? Right, so when you step up your voltage, you go to a larger battery uh, in a voltage sense, it makes it so that you can uh, run your electric, electrical appliances a little bit more efficiently, um, but also um, it just it means you get slightly smaller wiring, that sort of stuff. There's, there's a whole wide range of advantages. All right, does it allow, well I've heard it's more efficient, but does it allow the batteries to charge? So I'll have 48 volt um, solar panels on the roof. Does that put more power quickly or quicker into the battery or are they still the same? That's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, a lot of testing that's still going on with that sort of uh, size battery. Uh, but I think, and, and your case will be a really good one for us to use so that we can get some really valuable data on that. But I think uh, the idea behind it is that it's gonna be a lot more efficient and we're gonna have a look at that. Yeah, awesome, excellent. Um, not only batteries, I see you have lights and you have other items of sale in here. What else do you actually sell or what do you guys at Custom With Him actually do? Yeah, cool. So we like teaming up with uh, a lot of the big guys in the market, four wheel drives, caravans. So we do a lot of work with the guys at Clearview. Uh, we got quite a few uh, bits and pieces going on with Max Liner, uh, sorry, Max Liner, Max Tracks, all those guys. So. Um, mate, we just love being involved in the, in the four-wheel drive community. So if there's companies out there that we can work with and align ourselves with that have the same values, um, then mate, we're right there. All right, now uh, you're located in Brendale. Uh, what's, do you have a, uh, how can people find you? Obviously, you have a phone number, which Ross will insert down below. Do you have a website? Yep, so customlithium.com.au. Uh, we've also got the Facebook group that, uh, that we're always posting about our installs and what we're getting up to in, uh, in Australia with lithium batteries. Which I just become a top badge earner on that page. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. <laughs> and then uh, we've also just recently created our Facebook owners group. So when you buy a battery from Custom Lithium, you get an invitation to join this exclusive group. Uh, and it's basically, you can show off your photos, your battery install, what you're doing with the batteries. And we're just going to create a really great community around that. And I see you're around at Fink this year. Um, Obviously, you um, 
sponsored the trophy truck and yep. one of the buggies out there. Yeah, yeah. So is this the first time you've been out of Fink with such right. a big Yeah, no, this is our second year at Fink, but this is our, our first big year at Fink. So last year we got involved with uh, Jack and Amy from MOR Motorsport, uh, and they're just a family team based out of Mount Gambier down in South Australia. Yep. And mate, we bloody love them. So what we did this year, uh, we were able to get involved in a big way. We said, hey Jack, we want this car green. We want a green car on the racetrack. And they got right behind it. We went with the Days of Thunder theme, um, which worked in really well with the other partner for the team, Jegs, over in the States. Um, so, mate, that was such an awesome thing to be a part of. But then also to be able to go out to Fink, you know, get involved with the team, be a part of the crew. Um, just such an experience. Like, you just don't come across that every yeah. day. So, mate, we're super appreciative of that. Well, I'm hoping that I'll get out there next year with you for that. Um, oh, yeah. We'll talk about that offline. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the other thing that you do that I've noticed, okay, you, you're actually uh, come on board as the uh, major sponsor for the uh, American Truck and Van uh, Jamboree, but also Camp for a Cure, yep. which is obviously a great thing run by Alex Heron from uh, Now and Ever, yep. and that's raising money to go towards a cure for cancer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you've come on board there as well, and I know you go up to um, Fraser Island each year as custom lithium, and you yeah, do a clean up. clean up this year as well, yep, so that's something that we just got behind. So I mean, all these initiatives, we just love getting behind it. So uh, Now and Ever, mate, they've been brilliant working with us uh, as far as uh, um, just a local family, mate. They, they're trying to get out there and, and travel, and they've got a really great following. They do awesome videos, just like you guys. Um, and then, you know, getting behind someone like that is something that we, we love doing. So, uh, when they said they were running Camp for a Cure uh, and supporting Love Your Sister, um, mate, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't be more proud to be behind it. So, yeah, yeah awesome. Now, um, as I was saying, so your warranty service, oh, sorry, all your stuff's made here in Australia, right, by you guys. Obviously, you back what you make with your warranty and all that sort of stuff. What sort of a warranty is there on your batteries? Yep, so all of our batteries got a full five-year warranty, um, and that's non-negotiable. Like a lot of companies out there, pro rata, and it, they just make it confusing. They make it difficult, mate. We don't muck around. If there's a problem with your battery, we pay, we get it back here, we sort it out, and we'll, uh, we'll either repair or replace it and send it back to you. Yeah, right. All right, guys, um, so there you go. Andy from uh, Custom Lithium at Brendale. Uh, make sure if you are in the hunt for a new battery, for whether it be a canopy on your truck, whether it be Minn Kodas, or whether it be anything to do with lithium, look the guys up, jump online. I'm sure if you can't find what you want online, give them a call and they'll help you out and they'll either guide you in the right direction, tell you if it can be done or if it can't be done. All right, one other good thing about Custom Lithium is they're not just your stock standard battery. They will make them into different shapes, um, which you have your slim, Slimline, yeah, line, yeah, yeah, the slimline batteries, and then you got your big fat boys and stuff like that, <laughs> and they range anywhere from a hundred amp right up to six, six twenty, and uh, there's a couple of sneaky eight hundreds sort of floating around as well. So, uh, mate, if someone wants it, we'll, we'll have a red hot cracker getting it done for them. Yeah, right. No worries. Cheers for that, Andy. Thanks, Dave. Cheers, mate. No worries, mate. Hey guys, uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. We're um, basically caught up to where we're at. Uh, we've got a few things happening in the immediate future starting with next week we'll uh doing some stuff to the ram and then uh we're heading south it's that time again joke time with dave hey roz yes dave what is lighter a liter of water or a liter of butane gas uh they're both the same no the butane gas because it's a lighter fluid gatches <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,